All right, welcome back. Well, I have a surprise for you guys because it's a surprise for me. During one of the latest, uh, one of the uh, live events, I installed the Snap Package, the latest Cubzilla browser, which is now called Falcon. And it wouldn't start, it wouldn't load. But to my surprise, last night after the live chat, uh, I got it working. I guess with Snap Packages, at least in Linux Mint, you install the Snap Package and I guess you have to reboot your system. At least I had to. So it loads, and uh, well, let's see if it'll work. All right, so this is the default page for Cubzilla, which is now called Falcon officially. We have Cubzilla Git, Wiki, Cubzilla Issues, the blog. Let's go to the blog. All right, so this is a Qt web browser. Cubzilla is moving under KD and looking for a new name, which we already know that. And there is an update here. Uh, it is called Falcon. Cubzilla Home. And we have version 2.1.2. So this may look familiar. I believe this is the uh, Chrome, uh, Chromium or Chrome interface, if I am not mistaken. We have new tab, new window, private open file, sessions, session manager, send the link, print, Select all, find, show all, history, organize, view. History, bookmarks, tools, uh, help, preferences, and about Falcon. And let's see here, Qt web version 5.9.1. Let's go back to preferences. Let's take a look at, let's see. All right, let's see what this looks like. We've got general, nothing unusual here. Appearance, uh, we have the breathe, theme, Chrome, Linux default, Mac. Windows, okay, let's try Windows theme. That adds a bluish tint as you see here. Fine, that's fine. Let's go back to uh, preferences, go to tabs. Address bar behavior, browsing, web configuration, storage and proxy, fonts, keyboard shortcuts, downloads, password manager, privacy, uh, cookies manager, JavaScript, HTML5 permissions, do not send track header to servers, notifications, Use native system notifications, Linux only, or do not use notifications. Preview. And there we go. Extensions. Looks like a hell of a whole lot of extensions are installed. Now, I didn't see anything here to grab extensions. I'm assuming there would be Chrome extensions, although I'm not entirely sure if they would even work. So, let's see, we have DuckDuckGo, search engine, start page, and Google, manage search engines. Some shortcuts here. Add, remove, default. Okay. Uh, let's try going to YouTube and uh, see what happens. Well, that was fast. YouTube. And the big news is Hurricane Irma, and I guess Jose is right behind Irma. Oh, joy. Well, let's see if we can play a video. Right on the top there. Uh, let's try this one from last night. By the way, you could download the MP3 file on the Patreon page if you would like to support the channel. Boy, this is, <laughs> this is like humming along here. That was fast. All right. Auto play off. To another late night chat with Toss. Total OS today, total technology for beginners. Oh, that didn't take long at all. Let's try this one. Hello there and welcome back. This is Total OS today, total technology for beginners. Well, that was zippy to say the least. Huh. I like it. Let's try, oh, let's see, let's try Linux today. There we go. Well, this is certainly one of the fastest 
browsers I have tested in a long, long time. Noticeably faster than uh, Firefox, about on par, maybe slightly faster than Chrome or Chromium. But this is pretty nice. No crashes, at least in my Linux Mint. This is the Mate desktop. Very nice. Let's go to Cubzilla issues. And control tab doesn't work. Repost without confirmation. Option to disallow third party fonts and some others. Keep in mind this is brand new, so hmm. Very nice. Let's see. Let's try typing in extensions. And let's see here. Not much on extensions, it looks like. So I'm not sure as of now how to grab extensions. I don't see grab or get extensions or search. I'll have to do some more research as far as that goes. I don't know, it ran pretty smooth for me. No crashes. Pretty fast, one of the fastest browsers so far. It is new, but if you wanted to try it, I'll post a link to that uh, below in the show notes. Check it out. But so far for me, the Cubzilla, formerly Cubzilla browser, now called Falcon, uh, runs pretty good in my Linux Mint desktop. So check it out. I have a link below in the show notes. And don't forget to check out last night's live event. And that's it for this one. So I'll catch you on the next one. Take care.